questions on cloud. Uh, okay, so perhaps it's time to go. So thanks a lot uh, to Juan Carlos uh, for his nice talk. And now uh, we shall have the next speaker. So I, actually the last speaker of the session is Joel Gomez from the Federal University of Rio Grande do Norte, who will give a talk on logics of perfect paradefinite algebras. Hi, hi everyone. Can you see my slides? Yes, for me perfectly. Okay, okay. thank you. Um, hello, I'm João Philippe, and now I'm presenting the work on logics of perfect paradefinite algebras made by me, Vito, João, Humberto, and Sergio. So, First, I will present some algebraic and logical preliminaries. And after I present the perfect paradefinite par algebras and their logics, and how axiomatizing logics of the Morgan algebras and Richard with a perfection. So, first, I will present a signature. A signature is a family sigma of sigma k's, where each sigma k is a collection of Carrier connective. So if you have a sigma BL be a signature with two new layer connectives, bottom and top, and two binary connectives, conjunction and disjunction, we have the this signature. And the signature uh, sigma DM have the same connective of sigma BL plus a uh, you never connect to negation. And the sigma yes have the same connective of sigma dm with a unary connective nabla. And the sigma pp have the same connective of dm plus a unary connective circle, which means the consistent operator. So if you have a sigma algebra, the sigma algebra is a structure with A is a non empty set colored carrier of A. And for each connective, we have an interpretation for this connective. So, for example, if we have two values F and T, we have let the B2 with these two values uh, is the carrier of this algebra. And the sigma BL algebra interpreting the conjunction disjunction bottom and top you, uh, as the following. So we have this sigma BL algebra. And if you have defined the reduct as given a sigma prime subset of sigma algebra, algebras, the sigma prime reduct of a sigma algebra is the sigma prime algebra of the same carrier of A that agrees with A on the interpretation of the connectives in sigma prime. Given this definition, you have a definition of the Morgan algebra, which is given a sigma DM algebra whose sigma BL reduct is a bounded distributive lattice. We say that constituted the Morgan algebra if satisfied these two equations. A similar definition is the definition of voltage stone algebra, which is given a sigma DIS algebra, whose the sigma DM reduct is a De Morgan algebra. We say that is constituted in voltage stone algebra if satisfies these four equations. An example of a sigma DM algebra is this for if you have four values T, B, M, and F and let the DM4, which this carrier and the sigma DM algebra, whose the bounded lattice connectives are those induced by the Haas diagram below, the diagram B, the DM4. The interpretation for negation is the negation of F is T, negation of T is F, and negation of N is N, and negation of B is B. So we have an example of the, the Morgan algebra. Uh, an example of involutive stone algebra is if you have six values, 
the same with four values before plus uh, f hat and t hat uh, and let the algebra with the carry is this this six values and the the sigma the is algebra whose let structure is described below by the has diagram of is six and the negation is the negation of f hat is t hat negation of t hat is f hat and negation of the others four values is the same of the the morgan and we have another operator the nabla uh, where the nabla of f hat is f hat and the nabla of the other five values is t hat so we have this example of involutive stone algebra so if we have a set formula, the definition of set formula logic is a consequence relation in the sense of Tarski, and the set set logic is a generalized consequence relation in the sense of Tarski. And the, we will denote by the symbol, the complement of the logic set set. So let sigma be a signature with a unary connective negation, uh, a set set logic over sigma is said to be power consistent under negation when we have the Q is not consequence of P comma not P and is said to be power complete when we have the P comma not P is not consequence of Q and is said to be power, power definite when it's both are consistent, are complete. Other definitions is uh, logic is said to be gently explosive. In the case, uh, there is a collection, uh, circle P of formulas on a single variable such that for some formula, we have that the empty sets not consequent of the, this collection and the formula and the empty set is not consequent of the negation of this formula in the collection with this formula. But we have that the, this collection with the, the and for all C, we have that co the collection with C and C and, and not C has has a, with consequence the empty sets. And a similar definition is for gently implosive. So if we note that the, the fact that N and B are fixed point of the negation of the Morgan, we notice that B is power consistent and power complete under the negation. So another definition is if we have a sigma be a signature with a unary connective negation, we said that set set logic over sigma uh, is a logic of a formal inconsistent or LFI when it's power consistent and gently explosive. And this logic is said to be a logic of formal undeterminateness or LFOU when it's par complete and gently implosive. So if we have two logics over sigma one supersets of sigma and sigma two superset of sigma respectively, we say that the first logic is a C system based on the second logic with respect to negation when it's in an LFI that agrees of the second logic on the statements involving formulas without negation and the set of the connectives, the set of formulas involving P is the circle P. 
for a composing or consistent connective in the language of the first logic. And the definition of this system is dual defined according to John Marcus. So a logical matrix, a logical sigma matrix is a structure where A is in a sigma algebra and the subset of A is a set of designated values. So we define uh, the mappings in the homomorphisms from the formulas to the algebra are called evaluations. And we have that every sigma matrix induces a set set logic. So for example, we have the sigma dm matrix, dm4, and, and this uh, designated value is the values above B and thus the logic when no as the four valid Bernap then logic or FDL, D, which we heard by denote by B. And we have, have definition by Umberto, the extension of B are known as super Bernap logics. And we, ha we have that the classical logic is induced by the sigma D matrix B2 and the designated value is the only value T. So another definition is a definition of symmetrical calculus, where asymmetrical calculus R is a collection of pairs, uh, C denoted by the symbol and called inference rules where the phi is the antecedent and the C is the sucedent of the, this rule. So uh, a bounded rooted tree is a pole set with a single minimum element RT and the root of T such that for each node, the set of the, these nodes is the antecessors of N and is well ordered under the pole set. And every branch of T has a maximal element. And we may assign a label to each node in which T is said to be labeled. So given a Psi, a set of formulas, a leaf N is a Psi closed when T, when T is, is labeled with a, uh, asterisk symbol or the label uh, intersect if PC is and the empty set. So the tree T itself is C closed when all of the leaves are C closed. So let R be a symmetrical calculus and our derivation is a labeled bounded root tree so that for every non leaf node n or of t, there is, exists a rule of inference and a substitution so that the substitution of the antecedent is a subset of the label. And the set of the children of n is either label. In the case of theta is different of empty set where n phi is a noted label with the, la the set of the label nodes plus the phi or then we say that phi the C is consequent with a derivation R of phi whenever there is a label, whenever there is a, a C closed derivation T so that the phi is a subset of the root of the tree. Such a tree consistent a proof that C follows from phi in R. So the relation of this logic, so the, so the final is a set set logic, when 
this symmetrical calculus is equals to the matrix, the sigma matrix, say that R axiomatizes M. Then, for example, the matrix DM4 and this, this designated value is the values above B, follows the above expression requirement with the following set of separators, the set of P and not P. And we may before apply the method introduced by Carlos and Sergio to obtain for B the following X analytic axiomatization. And we call this axiomatization with RB with these 18 rules. And this is as an, as an example of a derivation in RB. For example, if we have, we have a derivation of negation of P conjunction Q and applying the rule R12, we have the two branches. And each branch is the final formula is the formula we which we can prove. So the neg from negation of P conjunction Q we, we get as target the negation of P disjunction negation of Q. So now I, we define the the perfect for definite algebra. So given a sigma to P algebra, whose the sigma dm reduct is a De Morgan algebra, we say that it's constitute a perfect par definite algebra. It satisfies these five equations. An example of the P algebra is the this six value as the carrier. And the interpretation for the connectives in PIP6 are this the the same are this the definition in IS6 so uh, but the different only in that instead of containing interpretation for nabla we have an interpretation for the circle operator so the circle of a is f hat if if a is a value of sigma dm and T hat if A is F hat or T hat. Other examples are the algebras of PP from two to five. The sub algebras of PP six having respectively the same let structures of the algebras of IS. So given a formula, let the formula with a circle be the result of applying the definition of circle over the formula. So for example, if we have a involutive stone algebra, the sigma PP algebra translating the, the NABLA connective to a, to a consistent operator or circle connective, having the same sigma DM reduct of A, and the translate of uh, uh, from NABLA to the circle is the operation induced by the negation of NABLA uh, of X conjunction not X on the uh, A is a PP algebra. So we have the same definition for a uh, Algebra in is a perfect par definite algebra. And from these two translating, we have that again. If, a, if you have an involutive stone algebra and a PP algebra, applying these two definitions, we get the same algebra. For if we have an involutive stone algebra and we go to a perfect par defined algebra, we can go back to the involutive stone algebra we have before. So 
by inspecting the interpretation induced by the definition of the circle in terms of the nabla given by the theorems before, we may easily check the following result. Né? So the PPI is equal to ISI translating the nabla with the, the circle. And from this equivalence, we just present a similar result for IS algebras presented by Humberto and Sergio. We may now conclude that the variety of PP algebra is generated by PP6. And let this logic be the other preserving logic induced by the variety of PP algebras. Using these and some aux auxiliaries results together with an analogous result for the order preserving logic induced by IS variety, we show that the, this logic is characterized by a single six valid logical matrix, the matrix with PIP6 as algebra and the designated values are the values above B. So given this definition, we have a PP algebra from the Morgan algebra. So let A be a De Morgan algebra and give two values F hat and P hat, which not in the carry of the, this algebra. We define the sigma PP algebra with the carry is the A with these two values F hat and T hat. And the interpretations for the connectors of PP, the sigma PP is this definition. So we prove that if A is the Morgan algebra, then using this definition, A with circle is a PP algebra. And we say that the PP6 coincide respectively with DM4 and PP5 coincide with K3 with a circle or connected, and PP4 coincide with B2 with uh, a... Please, Joel. Okay. Yes, just to tell you that there is only four minutes left. Sorry. Okay, okay. So uh, I will show some corollaries and lemmas and theorems, which we have demonstrated is the, this logic is characterized by PP6 with B, the designated values B are the values above B. And we have this logic is a conservative expansion of B. And if you have a super banal logic and we extend with a circle is a consecutive expansion. And this logic is a C system and a D system. And we prove that, that uh, so as argued by João Marcos, the ability of to recover negation consistent reasoning is the most fundamental feature of the LFIs. So we prove this that for recover negation consistent. And we show other results are the, um, is a axiomatizing a recipe for axiomatized set set logic determined determined by this class. So we have this axiomatization, which is the rules we have of axiomatization of the Morgan algebras plus the rules we uh, for the the circle operator. These nineteen rules, and we we show that we, this axiomatization is set set. So we show how in end this axiomatization is analytic. We show that this axiomatization is analytic. And uh, this is uh, some derivations for some, for some uh, rules. And we may extend this recipe to, our, to provide a set formula calculus. So given this definition that transforms a set set 
a calculus to a set form of calculus, we have that, for example, the rule R6, which is in set set, a uh, rule in set set, can be transformed to a rule in set formula and other examples. So, so if we have a class of mods of B, who, whose designated sets are prime filters, we have that the, this class of models is axiomatized relative to B by set R. Then we have that the, the, this class with a circle operator is also axiomatized by R relative to B with the rules of circle. And the last result is that the super bonap logic is considered low for the sake of illustration are the, the logic of paradox and the clean K1 clean logic and the classical logic. And we have, if we, we have this proposition demonstrated by Umberto, we have the logics extending with a consistent operator. We have the same uh, axiomatization, it's a similar axiomatization, which is the axiomatization for the, the order preserving logic with the same rule, which is axiomatized in the LPO or Q1 and so on. So, we have seen how to do with a perfection connective logics characterized by matrix having a De Morgan algebraic reduct offering two possible dire directions, or either by appropriate expand their corresponding matrix or by adding new rules of inference to an existing Hilbert-style axiomatization, and by providing a that for the logic of preserving order of the PP algebras and these extensions we have also shown that pooling rezoning is fully recovered using the Morgan negation and the perfection operator. And thank you for, thank you. Okay, so thanks a lot to, to the speaker. And now perhaps, okay, we have, we are running short of time. So perhaps we have time for one small question. Uh, nobody has a question. Okay. Uh, I can see your hand. Uh, perhaps myself, I have a small question. Here, you, you uh, actually, I didn't know this kind of work I, I discovered with, with your talk. Thanks a lot. Um, but I would like to know if there are plans to, when you have such structure in general, you can make the equivalent of these structures complete and to cope with quantifiers. Is it possible to cope with quantifiers in your setting? Um, we, we don't work with quantifiers, but maybe we extend to, uh, to work with them. And it's not easy but because the, the algebra is very specific, that, which means that is agree with the, these five equation. So we can make extend to to uh, contains quantifiers but it's not uh, easily made oh okay okay thanks a lot to the to, to you to the speaker and perhaps uh now uh, because we are running short of time and if we want to preserve uh, the possibility of having a, a small break now because we use the break the 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 break session as a as a buffer. Uh, 